we just talked about several <laughs> of, 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 of the themes or the topics, but I still think that, um, that one of the most underreported stories is the fact that there is a mass structure of deep state-driven media control and propaganda that tends to try to guide and govern public opinion in purportedly free societies. And that is extraordinarily dangerous because people in quote-unquote freer societies believe that they're getting the news or getting the information that they get or that the government is, is representing their interests. And, and, um, and, and, and I think that that leads people to try to support institutions that are broken or that are not actually working in the interests of the people or the public. And information systems, I believe, are that's, that's one area where that's a real problem. And I think also that that's why we need increased media literacy. We need people to understand how information is disseminated, created, controlled, right? And, and unfortunately, it's a catch-22 because many people go to the very news outlets or government agencies to try to get data and information to find out what's happening without understanding how the information is controlled and shaped in the first place. So it's a, a feedback loop, right? And I still think that even though people will say, well, I don't believe what's on the news, but yet, then you go and see poll after poll after poll, when people are asked about their opinions on things, they tend to parrot the very news media sources or government sources that they just claim to not trust. So there's a disconnect there.